Okay, um, I would like to say a little bit about this COVID pandemic, which is, of course, uh, <laughs> uh, the main theme in the frame of uh, quarantine culture. Uh, I would like to congratulate the Hungarian Cultural Institute for that topic, which is really important it's in this time, uh, because uh, due to uh, an uh, expertise done by our um, creative center in Ljubljana. Last year, uh, the result of this expertise shows that about 40% of creative sectors struggle with uh, COVID pandemic, and it will be very hard to establish the same level after. after. It's not design and architecture only, it's also other uh, fields of creative sectors. So uh, I don't want to be so more general. I would like to go inside your story. And maybe I would like to start uh, with, um, uh, with um, you first. How are you? Hmm. You're fine, thanks. <laughs> yeah. What do you do now at, at Eton? What's, what's, what are your current projects? Yeah, my name is Martin. Hi, everyone. And yeah, I want yeah. yeah. And um, we are right now in Ada. Uh, this is uh, my parents' house. So we live both in Hungary and in Serbia. Yeah, we, we, we are now uh, looking for new craftsmen at the moment. So this is our current uh, uh, mission here that uh, we want some new collection, we want some new uh, mm -hmm. techniques into. And uh, yeah, that's why we are coming to. As much as possible to meet new craftsmen and uh, try to ask them to work together. And uh, yeah, right now we are planning to make a new collection of objects. Cool. Can you tell me about your mission, which is well known already, but please repeat it? Yes, yes. Um, I think the, the starting point was uh, uh, when, when I. This it home was uh, my diploma project, and I started to build this uh, concept uh, during my last year in the in the MoMA, Moholina University in Budapest. And um, my my idea was to energize the local community here in in my hometown, and uh, and find uh, like fresh craftsmen uh, who who will. Who would be interested uh, working with me and working together uh, on a collection? And uh, I think uh, the pandemic was in the, in the middle of the process, so it was a it was a bit hard to continue the way that I wanted. But uh, this is why it was more more like a concept at the end of my studies, um, which was to to find, uh, as I said, find craftsmen and find really uh, interesting and then uh, like uh, people with big or big people who has know-how in, in, in other yeah. and uh, has workshop here um, and working together in a collection and uh, to energize them and to, to find new ways, especially for them. Yeah, new possibilities. I think it was quite controversial that uh, all the concept was about coming to Serbia and work together with this craftsman and it was in the middle of the, the quarantine so we were sitting in front of our computer in our room and trying to uh, try uh, start to work together with them uh, online i mean it was your part because it was a diploma and after graduation we, we continued together and after the graduation we could travel to Vojvodina and uh, start to develop the product together. But, uh, yeah, it was, I think it was really exciting that it was all about traveling and we couldn't go mm -hmm. anywhere. I think the most exciting part, like firstly was the discovering these workshops here. I, I mostly uh, went, just, just went there and uh, I wanted to see what they're doing, what kind of techniques they use. Uh, um, and it was really exciting to, to make a connection with them. And after we, we lock, kind of locked down, uh, it was a bit harder to find the way how can how would I be able to motivate them to to be part of the project 
So I think that was a crucial and uh, really critical point that only a few workshop uh, could say yes for me to an online uh, collaboration. So I send them the, my ideas, my uh, kind of drawings and, and renders, yes, uh, my sketches. And uh, the most exciting part was they sent me the, the, the actual photo of the object. So we started to work together online. I think this was like a really, really motivating moment for me when I see the pictures and I see that uh, uh, they, they like what, what they're doing. Yeah, we even So I think uh, this collaboration with craftsmen from ADA is very important to you, right? Am I right? Yes, yes. And uh, um, what interests me here is how did you approach to them? Is it, it was just an email or did you make it personally? What was your promise to them? How, how, how did you start the conversation? That's a really good question, I think. Um, I mean, they already know me because of my family. They know that I oh, are the son of the iPad and uh, they, they know kind of what I'm doing. Not not 100%. I think in this area, the product designer job or position is not really clear. Uh, so I just say that I want some unique products. And so I, I wouldn't say like, this will be some big things. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't like to promise them too much in the beginning. I hope it will be... Uh, at the end, good for them and for everyone. But at, at the beginning, I just I just ordered few like unique pieces, and this is how I wanted to start. Maybe it wasn't the best strategy, but like I just pick up my iPhone and I, I know them by, um, to my family. So I just say that I want to visit uh, their workshop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think it uh, helped a lot that you could say that this is for your diploma. At the very oh, beginning, yeah, yeah, that's that's you are working on your diploma and you need their help to make some products. And after we started to tell them that we want to sell these products and we're trying to build a brand, who knows what yeah. we become, but yeah, we are building it. So I didn't say, but I'm from Ada. Maybe there, this will be in, in, in the text. <laughs> um, on the introduction, but this is my hometown. I lived here for 14 years. Then I moved to uh, Hungary to, to do my secondary school. So I think I have a lot of emotional connection to here. And of course my family still uh, live here. So I, I try to be here as much as I can. And uh, this was uh, a really good opportunity for me to, to make connections with the local people and with I, I had to do something here. So uh, to come here regularly, to talk with the local people, to 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 give something back to my 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 base community, I would say. Okay. Was uh, the first thing that you do that you did uh, the, the 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 visit of the people there, or was uh, an email or sketch what you want to do? What was the first? The visit, the visit was the first, and I didn't uh, had any kind of like rough idea. Uh, I just went there. I wanted to see what kind of technologies they use and what uh, materials they use, and uh, how they work, and what is the scale of uh, their job. So this this was the beginning that I had had to know what is uh, what is easy to do here or not what easy, but yeah, what are the opportunities? Yes. So yeah, this is maybe the brief that. Uh, we wanted to, let's say, empower the local community of yeah. craftsmen and uh, show them their opportunities uh, beside the, the local markets. So that's how we started. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's so I think yeah. it was kind of typ typical for me that um, uh, maybe, you know, I think it's really interesting that you are from Nubian right now. Uh, otherwise, maybe, maybe, you know, I don't know if, if it was uh, that famous or not, but as I know, it was one of the biggest manufacturing center. And here was a lot of, um, especially metal manufacturing uh, company, yeah, factory, the potissier. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think because of there was like one big and few bigger uh, company, a lot of small scale workshops started to raise next to those, uh, those, um, those factories. And um, for me, it was like, a, like a normal thing to see that um, uh, almost every house has um, 
as a workshop. I just came here and then I, I didn't know what to do here. I just like had my connection with my family. And uh, uh, when we traveled, I think in also, so we, we had some international experiences and, uh, and, and then I think I started to realize that how important is that uh, there are people in my hometown who can, who can work in workshop and uh, able to do products. And I'm, and I'm also a product designer and we could connect these together. And I think it was a really important uh, like realization that what is the situation. So, so we can continue. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I just wanted to uh, say that at the beginning we started to, or you started to work together with three craftsmen. Yeah. And uh, that's uh -huh. how the first collection was evolved. Yeah. With three oh. different, was it, sorry, was it yeah. three different uh, materials and three different uh, um, craftsmen? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, there is one manufacturer, there is a, a ceramic yes, yes, uh, yeah. manufacturer. Red. Yes. And uh, there is a wood turner, and uh, there is one uh, basket weaver. And mm -hmm. we created the first collection with them. So this is what you can see. It was the very first visualization of yes, the yes this is the first collection right yes yeah yes. this is the the very first idea and this is how, where we started to uh, develop mm -hmm. the products together based on these visualizations and yeah what you can see on our website now is yeah. the final product mm -hmm. yeah i think normally uh, at the end of our, our education like the final presentation of our, our uh, diploma project. I think it's necessary to <clears throat> to have physical objects, yeah. um, but in this situation, it was a bit, a bit challenging, and and uh, many of us had did no chance, that, yeah. yeah, to 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 did the uh, to do the actual. Yeah, um, yeah um, I think it was an especially big deal that you you had actual products on the table when you had the presentation because most of the students didn't have this year or last year because. We were just working at home. I mean, the, the presentation was kind of the same. So I, I, we, we did the final like presentation and, and just showed through my camera. And I, it wasn't like, I think it was, wasn't a big deal, but uh, for me, it was. I think everybody was happy yeah, that yeah, you yeah. show something. Yeah. I just uh, want to say what is interesting, for example, with the basket fever, mm -hmm. that uh, I think it's really valuable that he's uh, growing his own um, material to make the baskets. So everything is made locally. He yes. has his own field. He cuts off the material and makes the basket. So it's really, really local. Yeah. I think especially these situations today, it's, uh, it's very valuable for many people that it's not coming from the other side of the world. Um, one more thing. I think it's important that, uh, of course, the, the pandemic situation was challenging for us. And uh, I think mainly because the borders uh, were closed yeah. or, or, or it, is, yeah. it wasn't easy to go through. Uh, but also, I think we can feel the, the benefit of it. Uh, if, if, if I could say that uh, the customers and the average people, I think they had the chance to to slow down a bit and look around and start to value uh, like w w what we have, especially in Hungary, but I, I can see that- or in the area. In the area, yes. yes. And um, I think it's, it was a good period for us to start uh, because as, you, as, you, as we said, our mission is to, to, to find those values in our, in our uh, area and in our community. And um, I think it was, uh, yeah, I think it, it was a trend a few years ago, started to become a, a trend to live slowly and, and buy local products. But, uh, but in this situation, it's becoming more and more important and more people are becoming aware of this. So yeah, we can feel the benefits of it. Yeah, so in a way, we are kind of lucky that yeah. we started in this period. Um, yeah, please, please, um, maybe a few words about you when we leave a little bit your products line, lines, and uh, talk a little bit more about you. So what was the original idea of becoming designers at all? What, 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 what drive, drive you? So what 
bring you to that profession? Both of you, of course. I can see and we can see that you are a couple in every way, uh, that you work together perfectly. But what brought you here? What, what, what was the first thing that brought you? I think you should start. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I... Well, I like, to, I like to say that uh, I became a designer because I always wanted to do many different kind of things. And I felt like mm, maybe I can do this if I become a designer. And then I think I was right because at the moment, especially building our own studio and brand, we, we are not just designing objects, but we have to deal with many other things. And it's always interesting and exciting for me. For example, making videos or just a communication or, or building a brand or writing emails <laughs> and stuff like this. So it's always, always different every day. Please tell me uh, or tell uh, who, those who will listen to us, uh, where did you study? I studied in uh, Molina University. Also, we were classmates and uh, that's how we met at the mm -hmm. university. And uh, originally, I'm from Budapest, so I I'm connected to, to this area through Balint and his family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, why I became a designer. I think it's a really like it's my almost a coincidence. Like, um, but the I think the the the, the story is is uh, that maybe I, or, or as, as, as they said, that maybe I had some talent in drawing in the elementary school. So my uh, teacher said that I should go in, a, in an art secondary school. And this is how I'm, I started to, um, to, to meet people in the uh, in, in art, more, I would say artists. And, uh, and I started to realize what is uh, applied art and uh, which is, which was the most uh, is exciting for me that I, I can do things not only to uh, to, sh to share myself but to sh or show myself uh, um, but to to have some impact, impact as well. So I, I, I it, it uh, the secondary secondary school was in in Seged uh, in Hungary and uh, it was a five year school and I studied uh, ceramics. So I, I had the chance to start, to start with material and uh, we started to design in early stages, but to start with this design object. And um, from then, I think it was quite uh, easy to, to choose the, the product design course in, um, in Budapest. So we finished both uh, the BA and the MA in Budapest. Um, we went abroad to study through Erasmus and did some in internships. Yeah, I think the exchange in exchange semesters was uh, really really exciting yeah. for us. So we learned a lot. What was the main idea of it, and why did you start it, and what pushed you toward this? Because having your own brand is a kind of difficult job. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, it was it wasn't realized that. Yeah, we didn't know it. <laughs> uh, we are kind of beginning in the business side, so maybe it is. It is a good in a way that uh, it was a bit naive in the beginning, but um, I would say that uh, we started start this uh, this company uh, and this this business because first of all it, it can if we do it right it has a social impact which is really important for us yeah. and uh, and the other side oh, we also young designers we want to show what we are care about what we think about uh, the world. What and, we can do. and what we can do, so I, it, yeah. it, it it has a like dual yeah. effect. Uh, even even now, we want to show and want to share um, our interests. So, yeah. for example, this project is is uh, like a portfolio for us, so we can show the world what we what are our values and what are we capable of. And also, I think it's important that as we see at the moment in let's say in Hungary or in this area. If we want to do something that we're really um, interested in, we need to do our own studio, which is great and we love it. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we consider that we need to do something our own if we, if we want to stick to these values. Yeah, so in, I think in the long term, 
we want to have these two next to each other. So in one way, we want to sell our own products and uh, uh, have connection with the local craftsmen and doing this. And the other side, we want to have uh, our own designer studio. So yeah. uh, where we can do different kinds of projects yeah. as, uh, as commission projects. Okay, a little bit, a, a, a small jump back to your relationship. So you work as a couple, as partners at the same time. Are you arguing sometimes? Okay. Or? I have been. Okay. Yes, I mean, this, of course, during work, we, we are not always agree. But uh, as far as we see now, it, it works quite uh, organically. I mean, we always have a conclusion or we can always make a decision together. So it, it works. But, uh, we do it for a year now. <laughs> we are yeah. really in the beginning. We, we enjoy to work together, yes, I yes. have to say. And maybe uh, to go further, Please describe your um, work process, workspace. Where does it start? Please describe your, your maybe through, yeah, how it goes. About the workspace. Uh, yeah, right now, as we said, we, we live in Budapest and sometimes in Ada. So we work from home and um, we are here, we are work from your parents' home. And uh, yeah, but I think during the last few years when we, we went abroad to work and study, we really got used to this nomadic life yeah. style. But uh, our plan is to have our small studio. In the Wherever. near future, hopefully. Yeah, near future. But yeah, right now we're working from, uh, from home, <laughs> from home ne next, to yeah. my, next to our bed, yeah. which is not really good, but... Um, it's, it's, it's a home office for us as well, so. But I think it's a, it's a great balance when we come to the craftsman and spend time in the workshops and then go home and sit in front of the computer. And yeah, we need to travel. It helps a lot to stay in balance. And <clears throat> what is the best part of your job? And the next question, what is your worst part of your job? Uh, I Okay, okay. I think the best, best, one of the best part for, for me, especially that, that we can learn a lot from every project. And I really start, uh, I, I really enjoyed the, the starting point that we had a new commission and we can jump into the, the topic. Yeah. And I, I cannot wait to, to see how the products are made, uh, what, what are the necessary things to consider. So I think the beginning, it's really, really exciting. Um, and also, when I see the excitement of the customer or, or the craftsman, I, I love it when we say our ideas and I, I can see that they really like it and they need to work on it. It's great. And I, I think uh, the worst part sure. is writing quotations <laughs> and writing emails is the most boring. Yeah, yes. I think this is where we need to like um, develop. And, yeah, uh, develop ourselves. Besides your work, your products line, product line, and uh, your uh, working process and work speed, what fascinates you besides? What drives you besides your job? I think this social impact is, is really important for us that if we can reach something, I think it really means something. I mean, our, if our work is useful for someone, that's great. Okay, you, you said that your studio vision is to work on projects that connect or reshape society, aims to form a community of object makers in addition to generate economic profit. That is what I write, wrote down. In what ways do you think design can improve society given the pandemic and current circumstances? First of all, I, I can think about the craftsmen again. We were just talking about it that especially in this situation, uh, they don't really have a market because the actual markets are closed. For example, here in Vojvodina, where they used to sell their products. 
And uh, as we see, we can maybe widen their opportunities by making a web shop or bringing the products to the road to Budapest. And this is a really, I think it's a really impact that now they can sell their products with, with maybe our help. Mm -hmm. and, and as we said earlier, I think not only the from the craftsman side, but also the customer or the user side that um, um, I think if we can show to the local people what are the local are made, uh, ma making in their workshop, I think it's really important. So we, we got feedbacks from, from, from local people that they didn't know that, uh, I don't know. Next to it, yeah, yeah. A wood turner who can make this kind of well, stuff. Also, they didn't know that the ceramic uh, manufacturer was that that good in um, in, do, in the making objects. So I think it's a uh, it is really really interesting to hear those feedbacks. Um, and, and in a small scale, but it, it is it can become a community of customers and makers. And at, in, in this situation, I think it's it's a bit hard to, to to speak about community. I mean, I mean, in my in our head, I think we had a vision. What is community? Maybe in the future, but right now it's a uh, it's more like we are the bridge, kind of bridge between the maker and the user side. So we are the, the we, we do the shipping, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I really hope that in the future, but we had this kind of vision that. Uh, we, we, we can a bit more open in, in, in a way that uh, we can connect them more freely. And if, if they, in the users and or the customers could came here and also the makers could travel, I think it could be really, really exciting both and for the both side and for us too. Uh, but there could, we could speak more about the community and, uh, and I think it could have more, um, more impact. Yeah. I think it's really in the beginning, but we hope that something is starting to happen. I didn't see the packaging of your uh, objects. Uh -huh. uh, where do you send them from and how it looks like? Yeah, in the first period, we started to sell it uh, like in person. Uh, we had the chance to exhibit and kind of start a pop-up store uh, in a gallery. In Budapest? In Budapest. Yeah. Yeah, so we we just uh, realized that it is much more much more easier for us to start in person, and I think also for the customer, and it it can it it has something with the community feeling that uh, we were uh, there and and they, we we could share our passion yeah. uh, with them, and I think it was part of the the customer experience. Yeah, I think it was important for them to and for us to that to meet personally and to talk about the project. And uh, right now we are working on to have reseller partners in Budapest with actual shops. And, uh, and we are planning to make our own web shop mm -hmm. very soon. So the answer is we don't have like a proper packaging yet yeah. uh, because we just uh, like, I think it was nice, but it wasn't the, the, the designer packaging, which, uh, which maybe should be. So it is, it is in the future, I think, but, um, but we are planning to, to launch our workshop. The workshop is not, is not uh, launched yet. Uh, yeah. So everything is... Hard job in front of you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, who are your buyers? I think they are mainly from Budapest. Yes. At the, at the moment. And, uh, Women, men? Children, who I mean, are your buyers? The profile of your buyer? I would say they are mostly women who are interested and excited about the objects. And, but let's say these are homeware objects. More, more, the first collection is uh, most, mostly decorations of a home. So I think this way you can imagine that these are mainly adult women who are trying to make their home more nice or homier. And consciously, I think it's really important yeah, and that I this- consciously um, because you need where the cut, where the products came from and- How it's made, what kind of material is it made of. But so, yeah, there is a like, I, I, Lohas, yeah, yeah I, I can 
that there is a, like a term in the uh, for from that in, in the marketing, um, which is uh, we we just started to to study it right now. So in, I think a couple weeks ago we started to realize that uh, our customer will be from those group. Uh, so I think it's also exciting as a designer that to start to think um, like more from 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 their side i mean the target group side and not only from from as a designer side yeah. and this what we hope to do in the future that um to to have have have, have in mind that uh, who will be the user of our product because in the beginning it was more like um like a, a general idea that uh, hopefully it will be sold but um uh, but now we have a more clearer uh, image yeah. and the so, person. Yeah, then we have a more clear image how to reach them and what kind of objects to design, especially for them. So, yeah, it's everything is evolving. I think that was we just, a lot. yeah, this, that's what I wanted to say that uh, I think we didn't prepare that uh, consciously from, from the business side and uh, that's we are and now uh, th that we have to face now, but uh, that we have to prepare from this side as well. So, but I don't think it's a bad. Uh, no, no, no. I think I mean we are learning and we learn more and more every day. How will you split this um, important thing? One is designing and producing, and another thing is selling. Who among two of us will do something? So, who will sell? Will produce or will you do both? Everything. Yeah, at the moment we do everything together. Mm -hmm. I feel that you are more into, into it, to the selling part, or you understand easier. But uh, I think that in the future we would like to have someone who are who is specialized on it and to be able to afford to have a partner or a colleague that. He does this and we can do the design. Mm -hmm. I think this is the long term plan. Did you did you sell anything abroad? Mm, not yet. We had some inquiry, but it, it, it was the real beginning. So we uh, then we had no chance to, to send it uh, outside so of Hungary. Right now it's in, in Budapest. Is it because of the packaging? No, Lack I think. Packaging? It was the more, more like a legal uh, side of yeah. selling stuff. I would say that it's more like we are really at the beginning and we, our uh, audience is, is from Budapest at the moment. So I can say, I mean, two or five people are following us from abroad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it needs time to, to mm -hmm. be seen abroad. Step by step. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> back, back to more easy question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's say if you could redesign anything, what would you do? Thinking. What would you <laughs> What would you choose if you could do that? Do you have any idea? I have in my mind for a while, um, but because I think it's really interesting part of of a nice home, uh, the, the fire stove that you can like. You can put uh, wood in and, and have have a fire in it, and I think it's for me it could be a really exciting project. Um, but I think it's it's more far from from because maybe it will be a hopefully it will be a product yeah. in, in our collection, but uh, it uh, it needed a bit more uh, bigger investment. So I think uh, right now it's only on only, only a dream, but I think it's really exciting product that uh, if you ever. Uh, like met this product or like this object, you already feel that uh, what kind of like uh, ambience it has. So like it, it constantly and instantly makes a uh, home feeling. So I think it's 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 really really exciting and it was it was a um, yeah it, I I think it had I had that in my mind for a while and yes. and uh, I I I I didn't draw anything yet so. I, I find a, kind of like that way that uh, I, I have in my mind and I started to think about it, but um, it's not that serious yet. <laughs> it's just a dream at the moment. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, but I, I think I, it I, perfectly fits into your collection. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. I think it shows that you and me too are mainly interested in designing for the home. So anything that is connected to the home. I think I couldn't say one thing that I would redesign. I'm I'm really open for designing homeware objects or, or objects for kids. Or mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would love to um, make some theater set. <laughs> that's a, that's what I'm keen on. But uh, these are not something that I would redesign. I could redesign my old designs because it's always something that I can develop in them. What do you hope to be doing in 10 years? I think the same thing, but in a, in a small studio with maybe more people together. A few more people. Few more people yeah. in, a, in a good team, I think this is our vision. Yeah. With, mm -hmm. with people that who can, who are professionalized in other things like graphic designers or interior architects designers, or architects, interior so. designers to make more complex projects yeah. and also have our brand like which i think it was really interesting that you asked about the target group and this uh, this kind of the business side because i think we wasn't realized that it is uh that important or like we are of course we are not naive and designers who think that everything can be and we can sell everything but yeah. uh i think it's uh it's a bit not harder but it's uh you have to work on that side as well so uh hopefully uh, we will we will learn this and we will have somebody who, who can manage this side of the brand and uh, we can do the fun part but because I think it's really interesting that we are we are really enjoying doing our own objects I, I think if you if you are like a fresh designer and and you just graduated I think you are it's it's rare to have the chance that uh, you can work on your own project and I think it is I, th I could say like it, it's it's really fun for yeah, us so that's the best so hopefully in 10 years, we will have uh, a team and also like an operational team who can ma manage our work and uh, we can do the fun part. Great, great. Okay, um, tell me, what was the worst advice you ever received in your life? And what would, you, what would be your advice to young people um, <laughs> who are struggling the same as you do? I hope that we are young too. So yeah. I wouldn't say it is not advice, but what I got, and I think it's really interesting. Uh, uh, one, like it, he was my like tutor or boss, boss in in London, and um, <clears throat> he said that as a designer, it's really interesting and important, or not what the most important, but I think interesting to find a way uh, or find it. Uh, Find it out what kind of scale do you want to work? So like really small scale, small scale unique products, like in the middle scale or the, or the mass production. And I think uh, it was not life-changing advice for me, but it was a really like op mind open uh, advice. And, and, uh, and I realized that I didn't want to have like huge and big mass production products in my portfolio. Uh, I would like to focus on more like small scale and more uh, unique product. So I think it's uh, it, it was a great advice for me. Um, if it maybe it, it helps someone else. Yeah. What I would say that I can experience is really worse that um, the works that you show will bring the kind of works that I mean how to explain yeah. it. You have to decide what kind of jobs you want to work on and you have to show your work in this topic and that we'll bring back the same works. I don't know if it's clear, but yeah. yeah I, you, I, want I, to I, you have to follow your heart, right? <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> see. Okay, do you have any design hero? That is something I have to ask. I think not, not one person. I, I learned a lot from my uh, mentors during my internships, and it meant a lot for me, but uh, it, it's a mix of them. <laughs> Yeah, I think we have some name, but it's really hard to say that there are the heroes because they're like untouchable. That they we had we had no personal uh, relation to them. So I think it's it's more like an idea that uh, what they are doing, um, what we have some more personal uh, impacts, and I think it's kind of this, at, at least at the same important as the big 
ethnic names in the design books. Okay, the last question now. Ha, <laughs> um, who would you like to have a drink with? Your parents, designers, craftsmen, or your buyers? I would say all of that. <laughs> In the yeah. last last year, we didn't really have the chance to have a drink with anyone. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and and uh, I would love to see how fun is to have a drink with any of them or all of them. I mean, we, we, we have sometimes drinks with our parents, but yeah. like the craftsmen are 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 not like we are not that close yet. I think. Yeah. Uh, and the clients could be really fun, but uh, in, but in these times, I cannot yeah. imagine that. We can meet them only online at the moment. So we hope that uh, maybe next year, this time, we can have the chance to have a drink. With yeah, I, I mean, I really miss that point that uh, we had like several exhibition uh, in the last year, and it was all, I think almost all of them was online and we had no chance to meet in person. Yeah. And I think we would like to drink with you, especially right now, <laughs> uh, after the, the, this uh, session, yeah. so. That's the thing that really, really needs to have personal influence. Thank you very much. I have to say, I admire you too. I like your products. I encourage you to continue. Of course, I would like to thank the Culture Institute of Hungary in Slovenia for the first talk in the series of current in culture launching this year by institute reflecting on the added value of cultural and creative industries of to sustainable economy so thank you again very much and all the best in the future thank, thank you. you thank you so much